Hey guys, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I really wanted to do a super fun Valentine's Day, like, full glam look. And this is what I got for you guys. I'm so obsessed. My monitor is over here where I'm looking. And I just keep staring at it. <laughs> anyway, so I put together this cool cut crease. And I don't know. I'm just super excited about it. I think it looks so cool. So later, I will also have a more simple practical valentine's day makeup look and if you guys want to see that make sure you subscribe turn on my post notifications so that you know when it's up but yeah if you guys want to see like this total valentine's day um like full out glam then go ahead and keep watching okay so i'm just going to start off with a concealer and i'm going to use the maybelline fit me concealer i'm just going to use this on my eyelids to prime and I'm just going to blend that out. Beauty blender. I usually use my MAC paint pot, as you guys know. But I just wanted to try something different. I'm also going to be working with pink eyeshadows, which stain your eyelids because there's red dye in them. I wanted to see if it would help prevent staining more than my paint pot. So I guess we'll find out. Okay, as always, picking up just a beige shade and it's going to set the whole eyelid. So I'm picking up my Morphe 39A palette and I'm just taking this more orangey transition shade to start off. And I'm just going to begin with that right in the crease. And I'm going to evenly apply color from like the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. Next I'm taking this bright red shade. I'm gonna start working that in to my crease. I'm gonna be really gentle with this one. This is where we're just gonna kind of start blending that red into the orange that we just set down. So you wanna make a little gradient. And I'm being really light with this. I'm not putting a ton of pigment on. I'm just kind of doing a little wash of it. And going back and blending with that orange brush. So now I'm going to pick up these two pink shades. And I am just going to start to put those in the crease as well. Just trying to make it a little bit more pink toned than red. I'm going to pick up some of this shade called Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm going to start deepening up that outer part of the eye. And it does look kind of messy around here right now, but it'll be cleaned up soon, so don't worry about that. Taking the shade and kind of tightly putting it in the upper crease area because when we cut the crease, it's good to have that dark color there to really make it pop and show up. Guys, my eyelids are going to be so stained after this. Oh my gosh. And then just picking up some of this dark fuchsia color that's very similar. This is from the 39A palette. I'm just going to do the exact same thing, just building up some color. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with some concealer and we're gonna cut out a little half cut crease. Once that is carved out, we have to set it. So I'm going in with this shade called Tempera from the modern renaissance palette i'm just going to pack that all over the part we just cut out okay so one eye is done and now we're going to do the other one and then we'll come back to it Going in to the Morphe 35B palette, I'm picking up a tiny bit of this light pink shade. I'm going to kind of lightly tap that over this whiter shade that we lay down because I do want it to be a very light pink color. 
Okay, now going back into those deeper colors we were using earlier, and I'm going to start to blend out this cut crease because we want that edge to be really smooth. I'm just kind of blending it with those darker colors. I'm also adding some of this purpley pink color in there, just kind of right in where it's transitioning just to add you know a little pop of something else i think it adds a lot okay i'm also gonna take a tiny tiny little bit of this chocolatey brown and we're just gonna put that right in the deepest part of the crease blend that inwards Next, I'm taking this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner. This is in the shade Midnight Cowboy, and I'm just going to put a line of this right where that crease is cut. Okay, liner done. I think that adds so much, and it looks so cool. I'm just waiting for it to dry a little bit. I'm going to do some black winged eyeliner, and I'm going to start with my NYX liquid liner. Sorry, I'm really bad at doing my eyeliner on camera, but I have one done, as you can see, and we're on to the next eye. Okay, winged liner is done. I'm loving this right now. I think it looks so cool, and I'm going to go ahead and do some of my face makeup, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I finished up some of my face makeup. So, um, first of all, I tried out a- I got a sample of the new NARS Natural Radiant um, foundation and I really like it so far. It looks really good. So we need to do a lower lash line and some highlighter and lips. I'm going to start with my lower lash line. I'm going to just take this little flat brush and I'm actually going to dab in this purple a little bit. That is going to go right on the lash line. And then I'm taking a little pencil brush and I'm going to lightly tap in this darker color. And I'm also going to take a little bit of that like brighter hot pink color that I used earlier and we're just going to smoke out that lower lash line. I'm adding in a tiny bit of that like fiery red color. Let's try it all together. Alrighty, now I'm going to add some mascara and we need to do some lashes. Oh, okay, lashes are on. I'm so obsessed right now. Um, let's go ahead and add some highlighter. Okay, since this is a Valentine's Day look and obviously the color choice here is pink, I'm going into my Morphe 35E palette. This is the best palette for if you're doing like creative looks and you want colored highlighters because these are crazy. I'm going to pick up this shimmery pink color right here. I'm going to start with my inner corner and brow bone highlights. How beautiful is that? That's gorgeous, oh my gosh. That is so pretty, so pretty, okay. Brow bone. Do you see this? I'm telling you guys, this palette, all the colors are like this. So good. Ah. For the face, I'm going to start off with this Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. It's very pinky. I'm going to start with this and then I'm going to put that eyeshadow on the very high point of my highlight. And I'm going in to the eyeshadow and we're just going to go right on top. Do you see that? So pretty. Literally so pretty. Ugh. So gorgeous. Love. Okay, for lips, I'm starting with this Milani lipstick in Teddy Bear. And then I'm going to take some of this Morphe Cream Lip Polish, and this is in the shade Blush. I'm going to put this in the center of my lips. And then I'm going to take a, like, a concealer brush and kind of start blending that in. Ugh. 
Okay, last but not least, let's set the face. Guys, I love this look so much. And that highlight. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys like this look. I keep looking in the monitor because I literally love it so much. My eyelids are definitely going to be like bright pink when I take this off. Just, it's going to be horrible, but I'll just have to deal with it. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I hope you guys liked this. I really like doing these fun looks. If you did like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. Also, leave a comment. Tell me what kind of videos you guys want to see. And make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so that it tells you every time I upload. So, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.